Georgia Tala, spokesperson for the NFLPA, he tweeted Jamel this afternoon that this is a, quote, interesting development. Is this the future of professional football? Um, I'm not sure about that just yet. Obviously, we've seen the NFL make a lot of changes, and it's been mixed reviews. I mean, there's a lot of coaches that blame maybe the rate of injury, blame the rust, blame the fact that the game isn't always a smooth watch on the fact that they're, they're not able to practice as much or practice as physically as mm -hmm. they once did. Now, you can certainly argue, and I think you, you can argue this um, very soundly, that the way the NFL used to do things, that's not necessarily the answer either, that there's got to be a happy medium. I can't remember which college, but I know it's a college that does the same thing in terms of how they're limiting... Um, I had it right here. Go ahead. Uh, in terms of how they're limiting... Well, the Ivy League has the banned Ivy full League, practice. That's what yeah, it was. Full uh, contact practices. That yeah. they've banned full contact right, practices. I remember that. I guess I just don't know. Uh, and I don't want to be one of these people uh, that is ignorant to what these players are going through physically. Yeah. But at the same time, there is a part of me that wonders, well, could that be the reason at some points why we do see more injuries? Yeah. And, if they're, and if they're not used to the contact or if they have less time to learn how sure. to tackle appropriately... Yeah what kind of dramatic impact that could have You're on the game. You're talking and thinking like a coach right now, and that's why a lot of coaches are certainly rolling their eyes at this. And, and right now, and Kevin Seifert points this out on .com, that the NFL CBA, it limits teams to 14 padded practices during the season, 11 coming in the first 11 weeks of the season, though teams are not required to use them all, and some actually don't. So we've already seen an evolution as it relates right. to contact, both in the offseason and during the season, and that frustrates coaches to no end, because they're like, how am I supposed to prepare a person to play football, be a physical football team, and we can't be physical in practice? That's an old school mentality that's going to have to evolve. So to answer my own question, is this the future professional football in North America? Yes, I absolutely believe it is. Or else football is going to go away permanently. If it's going to stick around long term, I'm not talking about five years, I'm not talking about 10 years. I'm talking about long term. It's going to have to make extreme evolutionary steps to truly take care of the players. You can't just give lip service right. to player safety and not say this is there's a reason why Georgia Tyler tweeted that. There's a reason why he said this is interesting because it's something that they have got to consider. And even more, even moving forward, they got to consider whether they're playing too many games. Yeah. You know, whether, whether they need to go back to 14 or 12 games. I think all of that's on the table if you're going to preserve the health of the players like you claim to want to do. 